All right, boom. What is up, everybody? It's me, your boy, J-Rod, the filmmaker, former film major, frequent fighting gamer from Philadelphia. And we've got on the Mortal Kombat 1 hoodie because we've got some more content for Mortal Kombat 1. One of my favorite things to react to, to, to play, to, to get my hands on to stream is new content for Mortal Kombat 1. And while, you know, there are a bunch of fighting games out right now, and they all have so much content, Mortal Kombat 1 has the most content, okay? They have the most characters in their DLC pack. They are dropping characters very frequently. And not only do they have the most characters, they also have cameo characters. So between those characters, they can drop more characters. And that's not including the Combat League season, the Invasion Mode season, the Shrine updates, all the other content we get for this game. But we are officially more than halfway through our DLC cycle with this character who is about to release. We're going to be on the other side. We've, we've done the first half. We're about to be in the latter half as soon as Ermac drops. And that's who we are here to react to today. Ermac's official gameplay trailer. He also seems to be accompanied by Movado. And I'll be honest, I didn't know anything about Movado. I had to do a little bit of research. But he actually looks like an interesting character. Like he looks, he has, he's a little, he's cool. He's a little cool, but he's also a little goofy. I like that balance. And I really want to see if they add like the grappling hook moves into the Movado cameo. I'm actually really excited to see how the cameo plays. Also, I want his armageddon skin i think that's the best movado skin that they have but that's not going to be his default skin so we might not ever see it who knows some cameos do have uh different skins some car some cameos don't so we have no idea how that's going to work but yeah either way we're going to be getting into it with this ermac gameplay trailer and we're going to check it out we're going to react to it for the first time break it down very excited i think that Ermac is going to drop next week, next Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so I'm excited for that. And as y'all know, whenever a new character drops, we do a combat cast live stream. We do a day one live stream. And then on the weekend, we do a new main alert with that character. This weekend, I already have a new main alert video coming out in Tekken 8 with Eddie Gordo. I had a lot of fun playing this character, so I'm very excited for you guys to check out that video. It'll drop Friday at noon Eastern time when my normal uploads do uh, always come out. But yeah, if Ermac drops next week, during the week, then next Friday will be a new main alert with him. So I'm very excited for that. But I think that's it. I think without further ado, we're ready to get into it. So let me switch over to the reaction cam and let's get into it. But I am I'm ready. I'm ready to check out Ermac's gameplay trailer. I'm not a huge Ermac fan. I've never played him in in X or in nine. Is he in nine? Yeah, he's in nine, right? I'm pretty sure he's in nine. Never played him in any of the other games, but I play all the DLC characters. So Quan Chi was similar. I, I was never a Quan Chi player, but I think Quan is really cool in this game. So we shall see. Might be the same thing for Ermac, but I'm excited. I like how they are staggering and we're going guest character, MK character, guest character, MK character, guest character. That means that after this, I, this might not be the most exciting stop on the DLC tour for me, but that means that after this, we have one more guest character that is Homelander, probably the most anticipated guest character of the combat pack. And then my most anticipated character in this pack, Takeda. He's gonna be coming after that. I'm very excited for Takeda, but come on, we gotta we gotta get there first. I'm excited for all the characters we get on the way to Takeda. So, without further ado, let's check out Ermac and Movado, and let's let's just, let's see, let's see what they have to offer to the game. Oh, intense violence and gore. That's different. Okay. Ooh. Oh, the outro is sick, and they actually put Movado in the outro this time. You have shamed the souls of your ancestors. I still like the voice. Which of my ungrateful kin are within you? Oh. <laughs> Who's in there? His dad? <laughs> he looks sick, though. I like the effects. I like the intro and outro. Let's see what the moves, the combos are hitting for. What type of Ermac is he? Spectral Mist. Oh, look at the 
wait, 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 wait. Look at the look at the backwalk animation. That was so sick. Oh no. Alright, let's start it over one more time. That really threw me, bro. It's so cool. The backwalk, he just floats. <laughs> That's so sick. Okay, boom. We got a stagger, a crumple. We got a restand. Oh, that was Movado. Oh, he has the, uh, I forget what it's called. Wow, there's so much going on. Oh, the grappling hooks. And also, it looked like he came in on a low, like a slide. I am the one. Okay, loud. You're going to get beat up, but. <laughs> Wait, what? Bro just had a foot come out of his face. They did it again. What? Look at was that Quan stand for? Movado has some sort of electric trap, and then he finished the combo from the sky. You've changed. Bro got demons. We believe for the Why does bro have demons? Uh, uh, ugh, ugh. What was that? What even was that? I want to keep rewinding. <laughs> Stuff is happening so fast. What did Reptile just do? No, I think they changed Reptile? Damn, that electric trap though. There's so much going on. Okay, so that's his summon animation. Where he just... <laughs> what the fuck? Did you see this? Do y'all see this dude? He's going crazy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I like how you flip back out of that too. Wow, Ermac looks really sick. You saw that glitch? We're not gonna talk about it. Ooh. 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 What a fatality. Are we gonna get a little bit of Movado's fatality? Cause I have a feeling I know what they're gonna do for it. Yup. <laughs> oh, here it goes. <laughs> Yo. What? Honestly, that was like one of the most insane DLC trailers they dropped so far. I li I have to go back and check it out. Cause so much was happening. And like the, I would be looking at a really sick Ermac move and the Movado would do something insane. And I would look at the Movado move and then Ermac would do something insane. Just so much was happening in this. It's crazy. Also, who, yeah, I wanna know too. Madam Bo has a suitor, that's one of the souls. King Jared is one of the souls. Shao has kin, that's one of the souls, man. So it seems like Ermac is connected to everyone. But I gotta see this again. Honestly, that back walk almost took me out. Just look at it. <laughs> it's so sick. And that was just like a simple, like, is that a, huh, huh? Is that a normal? Cause it pulled him in. I wonder if that's gonna be like, um, damn, that combo is sick. Remember Fujin had the push move and the pull move in his uh, base kit. I wonder if Ermac will have that too. Cause he did it again. He did it again. But that one looked different, so maybe there's a, maybe it's a special move, and there's a normal and an enhanced one. Damn, he just looks like he has all the tools, bro. Like, look at this. Not that he doesn't even really look like a zoner too, because it looks like he has to be close up for some of this stuff. Oh, but bro, it looks like he has the combos, he has the setups, he has the hands off, keep away if he wants. Oh my gosh, this this move was insane just see that animation okay here reptile does something that i don't think reptile can normally do so let's check this out it looks like he goes for his air overhead oh shoot you can just pull your opponent in with movado but look right here what was that no that was a stand three wasn't it reptile stand three turned him invisible maybe a special cancelable now Either way, Reptile got some sort of buff, nerf, change. I think it's a buff. Oh, I didn't even peep the teleport 
for Ermac. I didn't see him do that in any other combo. Okay, there it is. So yeah, Ermac's teleport is back. <laughs> this move, that animation looked insane when he goes down on his knees. <laughs> what is bro Claudio Serafino? <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so good. I did not expect this gameplay to be so good, but it really is. Damn, the fatality is good. The cameo fatality is good. Like, I'm kind of sold. I'm not going to lie. I think this is why I love this combat pack. I love the DLC so far because the characters I have been anticipating are really good. And the characters that I don't really care about are still really good. <laughs> So yeah, okay, I didn't even peep the date. Boom, uh, available starting April 16th. Is that next week or is that the week after? I should know because my birthday is literally tomorrow, which is the 10th, and okay, so that is next week. That is next Tuesday. Whoa, Ermac is gonna be here next Tuesday. Movado available in May. It seems pretty soon after Peacemaker, but there was a bit of a delay with Peacemaker and Janet. And I think that Ermac is putting them back on the schedule that they were originally on. I could be wrong. Peacemaker dropped what, at like the very end of February? Like, like final day of February. So you could even say beginning of March. So yeah, it's been about a month and a couple days. And that's usually how long it takes for them to drop a new character. It's like you get a new character, you wait about two or three weeks, then you get a new cameo, wait about two or three weeks, and then you get another new character. So, oh man, I'm very excited. That means we are going to be playing Ermac next Friday for new main alert. We are going to be streaming Ermac next Tuesday, whenever his day one is, you know, whenever that patch goes out. Um,. Oh, I'm excited, man. I'm very excited. I'm wondering if they're still going to do a combat cast. They probably will. If he drops Tuesday, then the combat cast will probably be Monday, unless it is going to be the end of this week. So I'll look out for it either way. They are also, like, getting back into the marketing for this game. I don't know what, like... I don't know what happened that made them take a step back from the marketing or specifically like Twitter marketing, but it seems like Ed Boon, MK1, everyone is coming back to, you know, continue the communication for this game, the marketing to say, hey, we're still here. We're still putting out updates. We're still putting out content. Um, and I appreciate it because they did have that little, you know, two week hiatus, two week break um, that pushed back Peacemaker, but they've never stopped with the content. The comp content has been on a steady, like, steady drip steady flow since this game came out so i am really curious to see how uh the game will be after the combat pack is revealed are we gonna go straight into combat pack two are we gonna have a period where we're just chilling and we're just playing all the new characters and you know the new meta <laughs> whatever that is also another thing is all of the cameo characters that were leaked or revealed early, they have all been correct so far. Janet Cage, Movado, uh, who were the other ones? Chameleon. I just played a video. I literally just played a video with all the new cameos. So I should know they are Tremor, Chameleon, and Janet Cage. Um, and now we have Movado confirmed. So the only other one I believe that is confirmed that has yet to be revealed is Farrah of the Ferrator duo from MKX is supposed to be a cameo character. I'm hoping she's next to come with Homelander. I It, it seems weird because I don't see those two characters like synergizing together, Homelander and Pharaoh, but you never know. Um, so yeah, maybe she will come out with Homelander. Maybe she'll come out with Takeda and they have a special surprise cameo that come, come out with uh, Homelander. But either way, I'm very excited. Also, I want to see Farrah cameo because I want her to be a grappler and I want to see what a real grappler cameo looks like. Jax is close, but his grapple is an air grab. You just combo into it. I mean, it's cool, but I want to see a command grab on a cameo character. And I want to find some way to combo from my cameo command grab to my Gears command grab because I just like gripping people up. But guys... Let's check out the Movado Fatality one more time because that is going to be it for the Ermac and Movado reveal. It was better than I thought. I'm going to be completely honest. The gameplay looks insane. I'm definitely going to spend more time like going over it, breaking it down, checking out all the moves because, um, you know, I always miss something. Also, the move where, where Ermac just has a foot come out of his face. 
think it was before this. Yeah, it was it was like in this combo if I remember correctly. Look, a foot come out of his face, a kick, a high kick that comes out of his head, bro. It looks like Quan Chi's stand forward, but instead of hitting you from behind, it hits you directly in front from out of his face. That looks insane. Also, is he in some, he's in some sort of, some sort of mode, some sort of stance here that I didn't peep. Look, he's in soul mode. Oh, look, there he is. He just sold up. And I guess he gets more moves out of soul mode. He gets like these capture states. He gets these demons to, to help him. Oh man, he looks really cool. That move, the animation on that is amazing. And then also Reptile has some new like stand three move or stand three buff. I think that they're saying stand three can be canceled, but you see how it looks like he cancels into invisibility. Which I'm pretty sure invisibility did not work like that before. Like to get invisible reptile, you gotta put the slime on. There, it just looks like he did stand three and was automatically invisible. So there is some sort of buff coming for reptile or change. I'm gonna definitely watch uh, Honeybee's reaction because he's gonna know exactly what's going on with reptile. And I also gotta re I gotta watch Super's reaction because Super loves Ermac and he's probably gonna like this trailer because it's actually really good but that's gonna be it for this one you guys so before we get out of here i need you to do me one really quick favor boom i need you to hit me with the three hit combo i need you to smash the like button like ryu spear the subscribe button like scorpion and kick the notification bell like kazuya uh for that ermac trailer uh it was it was pretty good it was insane like i said i'm not always an ermac player but next week, the 16th, when bro drops, I will be an Ermac player. At least until, um, like, from the time Ermac drops to the time that Homelander drops, I will be an Ermac player. Then Homelander drops, I'll be a Homelander player. So that's going to be it for this one, you guys. Tell me how you felt about that Ermac gameplay trailer. Tell me uh, who you're still anticipating from the combat pack. And even if it's not for Mortal Kombat 1, are you excited for Akuma in Street Fighter 6? Are you excited for whoever the next DLC character is going to be in Tekken 8? If you are, check out my Tekken 8 video with Eddie Gordo. I had a lot of fun playing with that character. He has moved up to either my second or third favorite character in the game because he's really fun to play. Um, and I, I purchased the entire, like, uh, deluxe pack or whatever. So whenever they do announce the next tech and dlc characters and reveal them and they come to the game we're going to be playing them all day one and i'll probably do the same for street fighter 6 even though we only got one more year one character left um i think i'm gonna buy the whole pack once akuma comes out because i want to i want to play some more ed ed was fun aki was fun rashid was fun but that's gonna be it for this one you guys check out my last video which was new cameo alert playing with all the new cameos in mk1 and then check out the video that comes out this friday if it's not Friday, uh, April 12th, then the video is not out. But if it is Friday, April 12th, then the new video playing with Eddie Gordo and Tekken 8 is already out. But that's going to be it for this one, you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you feel me. Join as a channel member if you feel so inclined to have the money to do so. But I will see you guys next time in another new one. Peace out. Five, though. Expect the anti-gravity. Yes! <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Woo.